Okay, continuing from step 27, cage edit. Um, based on the video that I made earlier, you should be now familiar with cage edit and how to use it. Follow the instructions, very straightforward and simple. Right now I have my cage already on the car. These are the points that I wanna um, edit. So select the points, go to the right view, click on this square, blue square, type 0.9, press enter and then it shrinks the front of the car a little bit. You can go to the perspective view to see just what you did, uh, but that's what it is. Cage edit, edit is really simple and straightforward. So press escape once and uh, escape twice to turn off the points, the control points, select your cage and delete it. Okay, select your cage and delete it. I hit enter instead of delete, delete, okay. Now I have my car done. I already, uh, the next step is making the wheels, okay? You already made one wheel. Now you're gonna copy those wheels four times using uh, zero, zero as your base point and then copying it to these four different uh, coordinates or locations. And then once you copy it, um, you can orbit around, look at it. I think your car is done, but you're not technically completely done because let me turn on the wheels right here. I have it already done. I can turn this off so you can see the four wheels and the four placement. Uh, you're not completely done because you do need to add windshield, back windshield, headlights, doors. Um, and I'm going to guide you a little bit through doing that. Uh, one of the first steps that I'm going to do in order to start uh, um, accessorizing my car would be turning off the wheels. The second thing is exploding the car so that I can get to individual panels. Okay, we're going to go back to the individual panels so we can edit it. Now, one thing that uh, should be easy to do, you can edit, work on one, delete the other one, and mirror the one you finished working on. Uh, the reason is, once you start editing, it can be a little bit convoluting to keep in, uh, keep track of what you did on one side so that you can copy it exactly the, uh, the same on the other side. Uh, best way, delete one side, do all your editing on one panel, then when you're done, mirror that panel. Now, I deleted it, so what I wanted to do here is divide this panel into two doors and two windows. Okay, to do that, I'm going to use the split tool. And I'm going to split through isocurve. Isocurves are just the lines that are making the mesh. These are isocurve. These also are isocurve. Okay, so first I'm going to split it on uh, using isocurve. I'm going to split it on the uh, long direction, which is the U direction. So I'm going to toggle or I'm going to switch to U direction. And then you can see now I can select these isocurves. You can see it right here. So I'm going to try to split it right in the middle. So I'm just going to go here and then select boom this one so i split it right here i'm going to split it again right around here right here and then one last one i'm going to split it right around here okay so now i'm going to toggle and then split onto the v direction so now you can see i can split using this one and then I can split it also using this one right here and enter. So now you can see what I just have one, two, three, four things. So if I, these two can be one door, these two can be one door and then the upper one can be a window. Okay, window, window, these two can make one door. Now, in order to get the material the way you want it, you're gonna have to go to right click, go to object material, all right? It's gonna open a new window. Then under this new window, you can select something and then change the color, okay? So if I wanted this to be a window transparent, I might drop the emerald in there. What it does give me this really nice green shading and I can look th inside through my car and that's how you would add windows. I can do Safari if, if I wanted to and you can see, I can see the inside. So that's how you would edit the material and you can play with it, adding material on everywhere you want it to. So if I wanted the main body to be anodized, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hammered right here. Okay, so that's a hammer texture on the panel. 
but you're getting the point. That's how you would do it. But uh, only play with the material after you're completely done. Now I'm going to go back and show you the easiest way to add a windshield. Okay, you're going to have to split this surface so that you can add a windshield and a back windshield. So to do that, it's easier to do rectangle and draw a rounded rectangle. So now if I want to draw a rounded rectangle, I would have to go to the right view so I can face it. And since my grid is on, my ortho is on, I can, and I'm going to draw a rectangle from the center. So I can find the center, which is right around here, and draw my rectangle. Right now, this is the base of my rectangle. And then I'm going to round it just slightly. Right here is good. Now this is my rectangle that I just made. But I'm going to move it forward so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm going to go to the perspective view and move the rectangle forward so you can see what's going on. This is my rectangle right here. Now, what I need to do is split these surfaces. So let me just go to the right view first and make sure my rectangle will not interfere with anything else but just what I wanted to do. So right here, I scaled it down a little bit. Um, and uh, let me move it up a little bit one more time to see. Okay, so this looks good to me. Now I'm just going to go to the perspective view to see it. So that's my rectangle right here. Is it touching anything? Nope, that's good. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to split the this surface to create my windshield. I'm going to split the back at the same time to create my win, uh, back windshield. Easiest way, use the split tool. Split, it's asking you select object to split. It's this, this whole surfaces. So one, two, because there are many of them right here, I'm just going to select all of them right here enter and it's asking me the cutting tool it's this guy right here enter so right now it just did the split and you can see it already transferred this right here and now i can select it right here hold on to my shift this one this one this one this one this one and this one right here. So this is the front windshield. And if I wanted to one more time, I can go to the uh, material, object material, and then I can change my windshield also. I can just drop the plexiglass to make it clear so I can see what's going on. And then the nice thing it did also, not only it sp split the front, but also it split the back. So you can have your back also done at the same time. Uh, selecting these and then also dropping a why not emerald this time and you have the back windshield okay so now you have your windshield you have your windows you have your doors uh, the next thing you need to do is just create I'm going to turn this off uh, you need to delete your original rectangle uh, the next thing you need to do is, is adding some uh, headlights and play with your wheels. I'm gonna let you be as creative as you can be, but just remember headlights you can do easily. You can do a, a sphere, you know, something really small, kind of like that, and then select it, place it where you want it to be. Um, make sure it's intersecting with the car, so you're gonna have to move in different directions to just make sure it's intersecting with the car. Uh, go to the right view drop it down okay go to the front view make sure it's in right here and then you go to the perspective view to see what you have so this is one way to do it this is not a perfect most perfect uh, headlight but you get the point okay so that's one way you're gonna edit your car and once you're done you go to uh, object material you can see uh, a lot of the things you did and see whether it's getting to where you want it to be or not okay so play with it, extra points for accessorizing your car, and I hope you all will do it. I think this is one of the tutorials, just keep in mind, this is to teach you how to do complex shape, not to do a car per se, but to do complex shape. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll catch up later.